So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this whole NFT whitelist art gobbler situation. And we're going to be taking a look at these Bitcoin charts. Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host Jay and today, man, NFTs have had a bunch of drama of what's going on with these Rick and Morty's co-creator dropping their NFTs. We're going to talk all about that. We're going to take a look at these Bitcoin charts because they're showing us some pretty interesting thing uh, and some other stuff coinciding with those charts. So if you're excited about that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, let's just get right into it because we got a couple of things to unpack right now today. So the first thing I want to talk about is this right here. Rick and Morty creator art gobblers renew debate over nft influencer ethics so this nft dropped and was trading for twenty three thousand dollars so put in the comment box if you would buy this thing for twenty three thousand dollars knowing what you know about nfts now in this space do you like this art enough to buy it for twenty three thousand dollars because people were buying it so in brief we're going to take a look right here um the project dropped and saw this thing skyrocketing on the secondary markets and then some people notable influencers in the nft space got free mints and got onto the whitelist and when they were able to dump this thing like a couple days later on their communities for you know 15 23 18 thousand and this is just something that people are having a big problem with now i want to ask you guys the audience of my channel and people who watch youtube a lot how do you feel about influencers who are able to get whitelisted just because they are influencers now for me i feel like every single project has a marketing budget inside of it and if they take out some of those nfts and they decide to use them for marketing that is fine but i wouldn't want to have an influencer promote something just because they're marketing it like even me on my channel i won't market anything like i've done paid marketing but it's only for projects that i actually like in the first place like if i wouldn't make a video for free then i wouldn't make a, a paid video for you that's just that's just the way it goes the only thing you're paying for is my time because i make videos about things that i like no matter what so this was just a problem for a lot of people in here because they said look look at all these people right here that you might know of um who were selling this thing and um that they i mean not selling it but they were able to mint it now it is saying that a lot of these influencers were not selling they were just holding them but people are just pissed off that hey why are these influencers being able to get some of these free nfts when they're supposed to be a whitelist and me in my opinion whitelisting and getting whitelisted is why I didn't participate in, in a lot of this NFT stuff because getting on whitelist was annoying in my opinion and you had to go and like promote and be a marketer for free to get whitelisted and then you know you might get an NFT that's worth a lot of money but it's just not something that I really like to do so let me know what you guys feel about this whole um you know art gobbler situation I'll put this um this article in the description so you can read more into it but basically that's the problem with it right now like you know um the nfts are going to be released over time but some of these notable um influencers were able to mint it by literally there and they're not saying that they got paid for it they're saying that hey i was just i was lucky and i got whitelisted so we'll see how this plays out if they weren't lucky and they got whitelisted and they're not announcing that they got whitelisted and they're promoting it to their communities that is against the rules that is against the law actually as a matter of fact so they they this is going to be something to keep an eye on and this is one of the things that is going on right now in the courtrooms as far as nfts go with the regulations and the government like how can we promote these things their assets their art but are people expecting to get money from the founders and and are there other people promoting it like you know influencers or people with you youtubers such as myself like are we disclosing when people are paying for us when people are paying us to say something about their project whether it's you know you don't think you're shilling it if they're paying you you know they're paying you even if you're doing an honest review so you gotta uh, put that information out there so yeah let me know what you guys think about that South Africa, right here, decide uh, grocery giant pick and pay intends to accept Bitcoin transactions. So Africa is going ahead and moving along with Bitcoin transactions. I also want to talk about this right here. The MakerDAO co-founder dies at 29 in Puerto Rico. 
very interesting things um, going on with with this right here. Um, this guy had just sent out some tweets maybe about four four uh, days ago before his death saying that, you know, basically that some pedo ring and some people out there in Puerto Rico were trying to blackmail him into doing some stuff. And then, you know, a couple days later, he ends up dead. So let me know what you guys think about um, that situation. I just wanted to bring it up a little bit. Um, didn't want to get too conspiracy theory on it. But hey, there's some people out there. There's some strange people out there. And, and you know, unfortunately, you know, guy died but shout out to him for being the co-founder of MakerDAO because MakerDAO is a nice central piece of DeFi so yeah so right here also in Cointelegraph news today research report outlines why crypto might be on the verge of reversal forget what they say let's look at our own charts okay right here when we look at the SPX this is not the crypto chart this is the stock market but crypto has been following the stock market at, uh, you know probably about two or three weeks behind it but looking at the daily chart right here we bounce back up into this box that I drew on here last time we're getting resistance right at the top right here um, which is at 39.9 nine nine on the spx okay if we get past this level then ain't no reason we shouldn't be shooting to um about 41 um 4100 on the spx so i can see that happening if we get through here if we can't get through here then yeah we're going to come back down to about 37 uh 73 um in the next couple of days so we need to bounce we need to bounce really quick but right now it is looking pretty good so we're going to take that information we're going to look at this bitcoin chart right here and see like okay it's still kind of following it didn't necessarily get that bounce that the SPX had, but Bitcoin likes to come and retest some levels. So we'll see if it retests this 13 moving average right here, which is at 20,168. So we'll see how, you know, how that ends up playing out. If it bounces on that level, then yeah, we, we're going to see some pretty quick action up to, you know, let's say 22.5 and then, you know, 24. Point three. If all of that fails and this bullish divergence fails, then you already know how I feel about that 14K incoming for Bitcoin. But so far, this double bottom is looking like it wants to hold up. But I'm more not looking at this double bottom anymore. I'm more looking at this rounded bottom that's going to bring us back to this level that I'm looking for. And that could still be just a bearish trend to send us down lower. So we'll see right now what type of pattern we end up with. It's still a lot to watch. When we look at this DXY right here on the daily, it's showing some signs of 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 trouble right here on the daily. It is bouncing on this trend line again right here. That's been holding up since February of 2022. But um, over in this area right here, it is failing below the 13 and 34. So this could be some good news for the, the assets. But when I look over here at the MACD, I see some momentum building. And when I look at the weekly chart, I can see that it's barely bouncing on the 13 moving average, which it hasn't failed yet. This has been the lifeline, the most support for this parabolic trend that the DXY is in. So I'm not really counting on this thing failing uh, that soon yet. I do see some crosses down here on the MACD, but that's happened before we got faked out by this MACD before. So I could basically turn this MACD off when it comes to um, the DXY um, on the daily and the weekly. So looking at the measured move target, it's at 120 right now. So until I see this market get dumped on a little bit more into 120 and um, this Bitcoin maybe getting, you know, down here to maybe um, the, the, the high bear market level which would be 18.5 or the low bear market level which would be 14 um that's that's kind of what i'm looking for that's kind of coinciding with this dxy problem that we're having right here and also with this spx going on right here so short term we can get pumpy and uh over the long time over the long term and stuff like that i'm not seeing a bottom yet there are some signs but we got to wait and see what happens once we cross this where are we at let me go back to this weekly zoom in for you guys once we cross this level right here then we can start saying something about um cross it retest it see right here retested it and then it just kind of failed so we got to cross it retest it hold it and then you know we can talk about some type of reversal going on right here so 
Cointelegraph, you might be jumping the gun a little bit, or you might just be a genius and ahead of everybody else. For us, um, for the people who like to, you know, preserve capital as much as we can, DCAing in, coins are down 90% right now. Not a bad time to start DCAing. That's just what I'm doing. This is not financial advice. What you do with your money is your responsibility. But, um, you know, in the long run, just seeing things get back to their all time highs will look pretty nice and just seeing some of these new low cap gems that we're finding go to new levels would be very very nice so keep an eye on these coins with me let's get this money together like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed to the channel think positive and positive things will happen r.i.p to crypto roots hope you guys had a good halloween yesterday if you celebrate that type of stuff um yeah till next time